All right, so I just finished up my uh, little breakfast sandwich and having my coffee. A and W. I like A and W coffee. Sometimes that lineup is only one really close to our house and it gets packed. So I just go to A and W. I was thinking this morning, like, you know, we have to eat and sustain these bodies in this life here. It'll be the complete opposite. I mean, complete opposite. Totally reversed. And our new glorified frames, our immortal bodies that we are, will be given, that we will take up, literally change and become immortal beings that will be adapted for celestial realms. Way different than this. Um, I was thinking like, are we gonna be able to eat in our new bodies? I think we will, but it will be different. It'll be energy and power and light that we will be consuming because it'll be just so powerful and vibrating our new bodies. We won't need to be sustained like we are here. I mean, if we had to come down or bring our power down and go to beings that require sustenance of a different kind, including humans, then we would have to maybe do that as Jesus did it. He ate a piece of fish, I think it was, just to show them that he had a body that was able to consume things, but different, way different than what this body here is. A glorified body will not need to be sustained with food from the soil of the earth <clears throat> at all. And uh, the energy and power and light that we'll have in our new frames is just completely opposite of what we have here. It just I was just contemplating it and just thinking like, you know, these are the heightened things that we should be dwelling on of what our expectation is and what we will be doing what we will have in the oncoming eons as that display that God displays through us. It's going to be far better and far outreaching than what we have here. This is just so low and so dull and so dying that it's ridiculous. Our bodies now are dying to die, meaning that we these bodies are breaking down every moment of every day toward, heading toward the death, the death, non-existence, the death, meaning that we will not have sensation, gone, completely gone. The soul goes to the unseen. So the sensation, that's what the soul is, the sensation, gone oblivious of everything around you and it's amazing what we dwell on is important what we dwell on when it comes to our our place in Christ is so important I'm not one to battle people battle flesh and blood at all period these wicked forces want us to battle with each other. They want us to have controversies and strifes and everything. Of course, they cause it and, and bring it about because they want to keep us... Well, God keeps us humble through these experiences. Yes, he does. That's the purpose of God, and that's the absolute purpose of God with these trials. But the wicked realm likes to just ravage the body of Christ now because they can get away with it right now. They won't be able to get away with it when we're made immortal and given our spiritual frame at all, period. In fact, we will be casting them out, I believe, or they will be cast out by messengers. I don't think we will do the casting out of Satan or his minions. I think that'll be done by messengers, powerful messengers, powerful celestial beings that will get send them out from the celestial realm. We're ambassadors of peace, so our job is to bring peace to the universe, and we will bring the peace of God to the universe and reconciliation and the love of God through his son Christ. 
This is our job in the oncoming eons to display God's grace to powerful celestial beings that need reconciliation back to God because of what Satan in that first eon did when he dragged these beings away with him. They need to be brought back to God. And when you consider all, which is Tapanta, the whole universe being reconciled through Christ and the blood of Christ that was paid for, for the whole will be attested throughout the oncoming eons. That last eon, that last long eon will be beautiful. We haven't seen even the, even the closest spot of it yet. There's, we just see glimmers but it's just going to be so spectacular I wish I had words to articulate it I really do of what our bodies will be like and what our job will be it's just beyond human words we can't describe it those who have been given the spirit and the glimmers to see and to hear what God has ready for those loving him and waiting for his son out of the heavens, our Lord Jesus Christ.